In organic chemistry, carbon molecules can have what is called a branch in the place of an atom attached to a carbon atom. These branches can also be called side chains. The atoms that make up the branches are called alkyl groups and are named using the suffix "-ile". When naming branched alkanes or hydrocarbons, we use the following steps. First, find the longest chain of carbon atoms in the molecule. This is called the parent molecule. Second, name any branch or side chains as the alkyl group. For example, if a methane group was attached to the parent molecule, we would name it methyl. Step number three is to number the side chains from the end of the parent chain, which will give them the lowest number. Step number four, when there is more than one side chain, then we list them alphabetically. But note, any prefixes like di, tri, tetra don't count in the alphabetizing. And step number five, if the same side chain occurs more than once, use prefixes like di, tri, tetra. So our formula for naming these types of molecules becomes number, prefix, alkyl group, and parent group. Let's have a look at a few examples together. So when we're naming these types of branch chained carbon molecules, always start by identifying the parent group or the parent chain. And that is going to be the longest chain that we have. So in this particular example, and I've got a model of this same molecule here. Okay. In this particular example, our longest carbon chain is six, but check it both ways just in case. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, but just to double check, if we started at this carbon, we could go one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, we've got the same number, so it doesn't matter which one we use. So this chain here is called our parent chain. It has six, and therefore the ending of our name of this molecule is going to be hexane. All single bonds, so it is an alkane. Now we need to work out what are the branches um, and what number carbon do they sit on? So if this is our parent molecule, we can actually number it either way. And what I mean by that is that we could call this carbon number one, like this here in our uh, model, or this carbon over here could be carbon one. Which way is it going to be? Now, the way that we number them is that we want to make it so that the carbon that has the branch on it has the lowest number. So if we started with this one over here being carbon one, then that would actually make the branch sit on carbon number five. If we make this carbon here number one, then the branch sits on carbon number two. And that is the lowest possible number we can give it. So this is the way we want to number them. We want to go C1, C2. This is our carbon number two. So we're going to have two out the front. And then we have to name what this branch is. Now this branch is made up of only one carbon and the rest hydrogens. So this is a methane group that has been attached to our hexane. Now remember it has the suffix "-ile". So we're going to call it methyl okay so it has the prefix meth which is referring to it only having one carbon atom and the two refers to where it's positioned on the parent molecule and the parent molecule is hexane so this molecule here with this um, branch off to the side up there is called 2-methylhexane all right i've got a bit of a doozy here for you Okay, so remember we're going through our steps. Um, I've modeled this one for you here as well. First step is to find the parent molecule. Now, if you skip this step for this example, it is likely that you would answer this question incorrectly. So if you look at this, we have a long chain here that has one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms, but there is a longer chain. What if 
we looked at this chain here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This chain is actually the longest chain and therefore the parent molecule. So this molecule here is going to end with heptane as the longest chain or the parent chain has seven carbon atoms. So I'm just gonna rearrange our, our model here because right now it's showing you as it's drawn, okay? But if I just twist it around a little bit, you can really see clearly see that this chain here is the longest one with the seven carbons. And then it actually shows us uh, more clearly what's happening here is that we have this methyl group. It's got one carbon, so meth, meth, methyl group attached to the third carbon atom in the chain. So remember that we want to give this methyl group the lowest number possible, this one here, and it is sitting on the third carbon if we number it from this direction, one, two, three. If we numbered it from this direction, it would sit on one, two, three, four, five, the fifth carbon. And that's too high of a number when we can give it three. So for this particular example, it would be three methyl heptane. Okay, I'm gonna give you another example. Now this one, I haven't modeled for you. I think it would be too confusing. Um, and I've actually left off the hydrogen atoms just so that you can see a, a little bit more clearly where the carbon atoms actually sit. So for this example, remember we're starting by finding our parent chain. We have six carbons across here, but if we look at it this way and come down here, We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one so far is our longest chain. We could start here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It still gives us eight. And so it doesn't matter which one of those you choose to go. I'm just gonna circle this one here. And that means that the name of our molecule is going to end in octane. Now let's look at the branches that we have. Now we've got a couple of different ones here. We have two methyl groups, this one and this one. Both contain one carbon atom. We also have an ethyl group that contains two carbon atoms in the branch. Now remember, when we're naming these, we are naming them in alphabetical order if there are more than one type of branch. And remember that the prefixes of di, tri, tetra do not count. So for this particular example, ethyl, ethyl comes before the methyl groups. Because we've got two of the methyl groups, this will be dimethyl, um, but that doesn't count in our alphabetical order. So this particular molecule is going to start with ethyl, then go to dimethyl. The last thing we need to do though before we start writing that is work out what number carbon atoms each of these branches sit on. So the smallest number, to give the first one the smallest number, it's going to be on our third carbon atom by numbering it from this end, one, two, three. So we have three ethyl, then we've got, if that's number, if that's carbon number three, this one has to be number four and number five. So if you start by numbering it one way, you don't swap and change from the other direction if the branches are smaller. Okay, so once you start numbering, you have to go with that. So one, two, three, four, and five. So our, our methyl groups are on carbon number four and five. So then we write four comma five, that's telling us the position of the die because there's two of them, methyl groups. So this particular carbon compound is going to be called 3-ethyl-4,5-dimethyloctane. I hope this video has helped you to understand how to name branch chain alkanes. Um, remember to always refer back to those steps when you go to name them.